Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and have I got a monstrous report to share with you, specifically in regards to Fukushima there in Japan. Now I wanted to get this report out to you sooner, but I've just been really delving into some research, so I wanted to get all my ducks in a row uh, when I reported this thing, because quite frankly, you're not hearing what's really happening as a result of these sievert, massive sievert levels that are skyrocketing uh, with Fukushima. You're not hearing that on the mainstream media, and I'm going to share with you what they refuse to share with you. So hold on because it's going to get crazy. And if you're not taking iodine, please take iodine. I take nascent iodine myself, uh, especially now and, and especially with Fukushima that's been, you know, radiating us for some five, six some odd years. Uh, but needless to say, let's check out some of the reports. Uh, one of the first reports I want to show you is on insider.foxnews.com and it's radiation at Japan's Fukushima reactor is now at unimaginable levels. Uh, here's another by foxnews.com and it states incredibly high radiation levels discovered at crippled Fukushima plant. The report goes on to detail that the new readings come from inside reactor two where radiation levels are at 530 sieverts per hour. To give you an idea of how bad that really is, four sieverts uh, can kill a handful of people. So imagine 530 to the four, but that's not all. Here's another report by enenews.com. And uh, this report details that levels could be as high as 5,000 sieverts. This is unheard of, uh, but it says it's from both ENE News and Fox News, but it says Fox News breaking new fuel leaks have been discovered at Fu Fukushima. Experts believe melted fuel is leaking. Radiation levels could be over 5,000 sieverts. Wow, this is a crazy story and it only continues to get worse. You know, here's the thing. Fox News finally did a report on it, and that's awesome. Uh, I actually saw, you know, lying mainstream media, Washington Post, be forced to put something out, which is great. But here's the thing. This stuff has been leaking for years now, and all of a sudden, now that it's just kind of this... Um, slow boil, so to speak, it's gotten massively worse, not just a little worse, but massively worse. The levels that are coming out of this thing is just major. Uh, now here's what the mainstream lying media won't tell you. All the questions were asked. I read all the Fox News report. I read the Washington Post. There was even one, I believe, on New York Post or New York Times, one of those. Uh, but I read them all and they had a little section, what repercussions would this have on humanity? And they subverted the question. It was completely gone around. <laughs> Why? Because they're not going to tell you. Well, I'll tell you. I did some research on some reports. What were cancers? Uh, how did they go up? Did they go up? Did they not go up in Japan there? Uh, so check out some of these reports. The first one I want to show you is from sciencemag.org. And it says, mysterious, we know it's not that mysterious, uh, cancers are cropping up in children in the aftermath of Fukushima, where the report details major amounts of kids getting cancer now there in Japan. Here's another from telegraph.co.uk. Fukushima disaster. Well, at least they admit it's Fukushima in the headline. Children cancer rates rise with 16 new cases, and that is only going up. Here's another report from Medscape.com, 10,000 plus excess cancers expected after Fukushima, 10,000 plus after Fukushima. Now they don't really specify what areas those are coming in, but obviously Japan would be directly affected, possibly Hawaii, what's on the coast there, California, Washington, Oregon, uh, you know, on, on the coastline there could all be impacted uh, as well. Here's another report from naturalsociety.com. They report a 6,000% increase in cancer rates at the Fukushima site. 
In other words, you're in a lot of trouble if you're in that area. But let's skip on over to the good old United States of America and see what repercussions this is having on our children, on our persons, on our bodies. Well, according to IntegrativeCancerAnswers.com, almost one third of children born on the Pacific coast of the US are now at high risk for thyroid cancer. One third. Not my fact, not my statistics, but on according to the website you saw there. Also, wired.com did a quick report on it. Cancer rates spike, but you're not allowed to blame Fukushima. Because remember, you know, forget that they have high sieverts out the freaking wazoo. Uh, yeah, that doesn't matter, right? It's just going up and up and up and up. Look, there was about 20 more that I could show you online, but um, I just picked out a few. I encourage you to Google cancer rates, Fukushima, or just increasing cancer rates in you know California, Hawaii, and um, Japan there, and you'll get a whole ton of information. Just like they hid things at Chernobyl, uh, they're gonna do that with Fukushima. That's the way they work. They don't wanna cause panic, but please make sure you're on iodine. And in addition to that, please make sure you're detoxing your stuff from some of those metals and keeping your body healthy. This is why I am such an avid person on getthetea.com. He's got the super strength tea there that's amazing. It will detox your body. And look, it's, it's good stuff, but use the super strength detox tea in addition to iodine. You can get nascent iodine off the internet anywhere, but use them together and they run perfect, but especially during Fukushima. Uh, just had to say that, but I'll leave links below for getthetea.com, and I mean it, and it's a product that I actually believe in. Uh, but moving on, there are also things uh, that we need to be aware of because many people high up want depopulation. They want to kill off hundreds and millions of people in order to bring the population down because this is a UN agenda. This is a new world order agenda. This is agenda 2030, agenda 21. This is what they want to do. They want to decrease the population. Let me just read a few of the quotes from elite, power elite themselves or not so elite. Here's uh, Prince Philip, Duke of Einberg. If I were reincarnated, I wish to be returned to earth as a killer virus to lower the human population levels. How about we start with you? Henry Kissinger, we all know, depopulation should be the highest priority for the United States foreign policy toward the third world. Theodore Roosevelt, society has no business to permit degenerates to repro re re reproduce their kind. That ju he just needs slap. Ted Turner, in an interview with Autobahn Magazine, a total world population of 250 to 300 million people, a 95% decrease from present levels would be ideal. <sighs> Here's another one. I'm trying to read the shorter ones. Paul Einrich in The Population Bomb wrote, a cancer is an uncontrolled manipulation of cells. The population explosion is an uncontrolled manipulation of people. We must shift our efforts from the treatment of the symptoms to the cutting out of the cancer, cancer of humanity. The operation will demand many apparently brutal and heartless decisions. Hmm. Here's one from Jackie's Cousteau at UNESCO in 1991. In order to save the planet, it would be necessary to kill 350,000 people a day. Robert Walker, former chair of PepsiCo and Procter & Gamble on water. Water is a gift of nature. Its delivery is not. It must be priced to ensure it is sustainable. Ted Turner makes the radical statement that a total population of 250 to 300 million people, a 95% decline from present levels would be ideal. He goes to expand on Ted Turner and says, you know, I agree with that. You know, I've got about 50 more of those, but for, for sake of time, I think you guys uh, understand you've seen a lot of these quotes out there, but maybe this is why they don't really tell you what's going on with Fukushima. And we're kind of left, those who know are, well, I guess survival of the fittest, so to speak, but please make sure you are preparing your health. Get on the super strength tea, get some nascent iodine out there and make sure you're keeping yourself healthy. Also, please make sure you check out Noble Gold Investments. 
uh, noblegoldinvestments.com. I'm going to leave a link. Make sure you have gold and silver and precious metals because in the event that things do get crazy and uh, you need to have gold on hand, I'm a high proponent of, uh, of prepping, of keeping yourself healthy, of having gold and silver on hand because if it does get crazy out there, uh, you'll have some kind of you know, source because money still will be out there. I mean, it depends on the level of the disaster, but needless to say, please make sure you have gold on hand uh, and um, have that in case of emergency or whatever else. I personally believe it and I do it myself. So check out noble noblegoldinvestments.com. I'll leave a link also below for that. Anyhow, well, thanks again for tuning in. This is Lisa Haven signing out.